I'm Cordelia. I work for an organisation called Shared Assets. Yeah, lived in Bristol for a while. I love it here. I love being outdoors. I'm really into just being like on my bike and like being able to go where I want. <laughs> just me. Nice. Um, I'm Alana. Also work for Shared Assets. Um, recently new to Bristol. I also like really enjoy like a queer folk scene. Also, a Morris dancer of eight years. What else about me? Um, yeah, love community. I didn't. I never actually joined the circus. It's like half of my family is circus family. So, um, like when I went, to, my parents split. But like when when I lived with my dad, on, on times when I lived with my dad, like we were with the circus. So I grew up with the circus. Oh, sort cool. of. Um, so like in my this is my childhood. Um, so like we would yeah we would go to like it was a small village type circus thing um or small towns and um just one time i remember like going living on like a common park mm-hmm. the place where circuses are at and it was just this one town that really didn't like pe- like travelers being there and yeah. um we just had like stones th- like thro- thrown at our caravan and stuff and like people like just coming like way too close and like seeming like threatening and well, I guess it wasn't actually trespass because we had like negotiated with the mm. council that we could be there mm. um, but, but I think other people sort of perceived it as yeah. trespass there's so many communities who have been removed from land in like lots of different ways um, spiritually and like physically and everything like this so it's like extremely like political thing um, and that has been like lots of communities that have been really culturally um, related with land, like for example, just think about the way that land in the UK used to be kind of in all in common, um, or like a lot of it was in common, had in common, and like everyone could graze their sheep there, right? And then they started to enclose it, and then it started to become private, and now like those spaces that used to be belonging to everyone belong to kind of like three super rich people, you know, who don't even live there and have no connection there. So Shared Assets is a social enterprise and we work um, mainly kind of with people trying to make make better models of like land use or like trying to enable um, communities to manage land pretty much. Um, but alongside that we also do things that are kind of advocating for the rights of the land and the rights of, that people have to the land. We recently have done a lot of research on the county farm and the idea of that being like publicly publicly owned and publicly managed, um, and like yeah, run for, like by and for communities, um, and what that could look like if we had a different way of of seeing this sort of land and the public. Yeah, land that belongs to the public, the way that it actually is owned now, like, isn't yeah. really the way that, that is not really in common, basically. Um, so we're kind of looking at different stewardship models and looking about advocating to that for that as well. I want to dream and dream and dream out loud because I feel like that doesn't give solid answers. But yeah, we like the fact is that the world now is like there's a lot of like harm that's been caused. Um, that we have to deal with and like in order to move towards those points it's like things like the trespass yeah. uh, legislation is like something that's like another thing that's like battered um, one way that like wants to basically yeah, contain more and more people and like enclose land away from even more people whereas in fact like I feel like what we learn through like what we do or what we think about is th- is how much life and joy and like possibility it can give to have access to the land and to like be able to own the land in part like yeah with your community and like for your local space to be like available to you and that you can use it and you deserve it um and yeah